Hey, how goes it? Ken Bozak from thebitcoinpodcast.com, here to talk about Bitcoin and Bitcoin accessories. And today, I'm here to talk about an Ethereum accessory, ethereumchamber.net, a client-side Ethereum wallet. All right, well, first, full disclosure, ethereumchamber.net did reach out to me, and this is a sponsored video. But that said, I'm not being paid to say anything. I am just was asked to do a how-to video, so here I am. Uh, this is a completely honest opinion of it, and I, I checked it out before I accepted the offer, and I really like the website. I like the user interface. It's open source. It has everything that I could think Ethereum client-side wallet could possibly have all right so uh, let's go ahead and dig into this and uh, I can show you a little bit about what ethereumchamber.net has to offer it's not just an ethereum wallet this is an entire client-side ethereum wallet experience all right so first let's go ahead and start with a wallet all right so let's go ahead and start it says uh, you know what? let's go over some of the uh, the topics here the all right so we got the uh, generate wallet you have uh, send ether and tokens you can swap your tokens. All right, you can go over here, uh, send offline, which we'll get into briefly. Uh, contracts we'll touch briefly. Uh, ENS is absolutely my favorite part of this website, without a doubt, hand down, favorite part of this website. Um, and then we have the view wallet info, which is, uh, it, it's a more advanced way of uh, interacting with the wallet we're gonna build. But let's dive into that right now, shall we? All right, so first, Enter a strong password at least nine characters. So, all right. My password is going to be Ken Bozak. See, you can you can see it. I'm not worried. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and download this file. Please don't forget to download the file. Oh, that would just be bad. Be real bad. And then you can back this up on a cloud or a flash drive or something like that and encrypt that as well. But okay, anyway, I promise. Okay, so here we go. This is the private key. Uh, for those watching that don't know, you don't want anybody to see what I'm showing you now. Um, I'm not actually gonna be using the wallet for this. This is for video purposes. So I'm not too worried, but never, ever, ever expose your private keys like I am doing right now. Uh, you can go ahead and print this paper wallet. And basically what it says right here, it, it's an uh, unencrypted version. So that password that I just made, Ken Bozak, that's an encrypted private key. This is an unencrypted private key right here. So you can print that and put it with the flash drive that you put this file on and you're good to go. You're safe. You're, you're backed up. That's secure. Um, so we can go ahead to the next step. But first, I'm going to copy this and then go to the next step. Okay, so there's two options that really stand out to us right now. We can go ahead and use the uh, file right here, the UTC. Yeah, the UTC file right here, and you can open. Now you can type in your password, K-E-N-N-B-O-S-A-K, -N -N and unlock it. There we go, success. And this is what your wallet will look like, the user interface. Uh, you have your account address here, here, um, you know, a little photo. Let's see. Your private key is hidden, but there you go. It is visible. This is the private key. You never want somebody to see that. That's how you, you know, it should always look. Unless you need to back this up for any reason, I wouldn't expose it, especially if you're not on a secure browser or a secure computer for any reason. Make sure you're on secure hardware um, that's running secure software. Okay. So let's go ahead and check out what they have in this section. Uh, we can show all tokens. Oh, look at that. Uh, so the ethereumchamber.net wallets can hold tokens. Um, so let's see. Dude, check it out. That is awesome. All right. So now I have a wallet for my uh, Swarm City uh, SWAT SWT tokens. That is exciting. All right, but another thing, uh, remember that private key we copied? Let's go, let's see if I can refresh that. 
Oh, here we go. All right, so view wallet info. Remember the private key we copied earlier? Well, that was unencrypted. So there's no password here. You just hit unlock and there we go. And you can add custom tokens. That is so cool. And oh yeah, up here, they have different uh, nodes. So you can run on the Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, some of these guys, and you can even try to add your custom one. Epic. They got a lot going on. All right, so some to some of the exciting stuff that I've noticed in here. Um, right here, uh, let's see. I could probably do it with the file again. Open that. As you see, this one asked for the password because it wasn't the private key that was already unencrypted. Perfect. All right, so from here now, you can send your Ethereum that was on the wallet. So say we generated the wallet, we created it, we locked it up, and then we looked at it, we added some funds to it, and now you want to take your Ethereum and send it to a friend or however, this is how you would do it. You would come in here, you would put your Ethereum address in, how much Ethereum you'd want to send, and the custom gas limit. Look at this. I like, <laughs> I really like that. That's, that's pretty funny. Fastest book, lame. And then too fast, too furious right there, which... I would probably do that. Uh, hey guys, this is free. They're not charging you anything for this. So go ahead and drop a donation if you're going to use the service. Um, let's see. Uh, swap. Okay, yes. So let's cover swap. You can go ahead and transfer, say you have Ethereum and you wanted to you know, swap it for Bitcoin. Well, you can do that. You would set the amount of Ethereum you want. One Ethereum. You get this amount of Bitcoin. Let's do it. You would enter in the Bitcoin address that you want your Ethereum to be swapped into Bitcoin and that Bitcoin to go to, and you would start the swap. It would pull, swap, go, and it would just show up on the other wallet that you have Bitcoin. Or say you have Ethereum and somebody wants Bitcoin or however, this is how you would do that. So there's a lot that this wallet client can do. Um, that's like one of the main reasons I accepted the offer to promote the, the website. I, I like it. I mean, what's not to like? And I'm, I promise you, I'm not being paid to say anything. It's, I promise. Uh, let's see this send offline. This is, this is next level. Uh, I probably wouldn't be using this, but I could see some of you next level guys. Um, most of the people watching this are probably noobs, if not novice or, but I do have a couple follow of viewers and followers that are advanced, but you know, maybe you guys can check this out and maybe let people know how to use this a little bit farther as well as the contract side. I do not know nothing about smart contracts at all. So some of you advanced you know, viewers out there, maybe co cover a video on this and link it in the comments below so people can really check out how to use the smart contracts on ethereumchamber.net. All right, um, this is the hands down most exciting part of this website, the ENS. So, so right here, uh, the uh, Ethereum name service is basically so like you don't have to tell somebody your Ethereum address is 11010111089 AB, uh, lowercase capital letter, blah, 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 blah. You just say, hey, send, some, send, send me some Ethereum to, uh, let's see, ready? KenBozak.eth. And in 16 days, nine hours, I will fight you guys to the death for this. Um, but maybe not. Maybe I'm not willing to pay so much for this. So go ahead and try to outbid me. Maybe I won't buy it. And maybe you'll be stuck with KenBozek.eth for no reason, you jerk. But that's how this works. So like, now that I put it into the system, it starts a countdown to an auction period. And then from there, you and me and everybody else could fight over this name service right here. And uh, the, the built-in jerk eliminator, you know, would be like, if I wanted this, I would have outbid you originally. So if you outbid me in the market, what makes you think I'm going to pay you more after the fact? I would have just outbid you originally. So there's that. And that I like how that's in there to keep it clean. And then down here, I think they have uh, the, in the disclaimer. So check out all the disclaimer information, guys. Don't forget that. Um, you know, they're dominantly... Oh, right here. Uh, 
translations it's dominantly in english always back up your keys they have no access to your keys if you lose your private keys if you forgot your password if you lost that file that you downloaded and were supposed to put on a flash drive or something you're beat because they don't have access to your money so there's nothing they can do uh what they're not responsible is for any loss um i lost some big some uh ethereum from a wallet to a wallet it's in the ether it's gone and it's the ethereum network that everyone's pointing fingers at not the wallets so the wallets are blaming the network so like there's chances things could always hit the fan so never invest more money than you can risk to lose that's in their disclaimers here and all that blah 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 so make sure you read that but what i'm looking for here they had a uh, support. I can't find it now. But they were saying like they will support you if you have any issues. But if you're just trying to, you know, buy models.f and walmart.f and all these name brand domain names.f, they're probably going to like just tell you to go screw yourself. But if you're just like trying to find one for you or like something that you think is kind of cool and edgy, they're going to help you out. So, you, you know, check out tech support if you have any issues. But if you're going to be a jerk, there's processes and, and and there's things put in place to eliminate you guys. So don't be a jerk or you will be eliminated through the process, the jerk elimination process. Uh, so ethereumchamber.net has a lot to offer. Uh, let's go ahead and check this out. We can paste our private key that is unencrypted. So we don't have to put in the password like we would with that file. So here's everything you need. Again, this is the private key, private key, keep that private never show anybody that you can send your ethereum here uh, let's see the tokens swap oh yes i wanted to cover this as well so you can sign a message or verify so as you can see this user is blah 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 on blah 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 the purpose of this message is to prove that this address is mine and the date so let's try this this is ken bozak IRL in real life this message is to show I owns and then you go up here my address I owns that address that's me bam uh, hello world <laughs> it's a little coder inside joke I know all the coders get that all right bam and now you can send somebody a message and they can prove that it's you you know um, it's pretty cool I like that so right here it says it uh, include a nickname and where you use the nickname include a specific reason for the message and there you go and uh, make sure it's you know it's locked with the date and then you can verify a message so take this copy verify message paste verify message right there thumbs up that is a true message from me to you secured so i mean come on guys i i know i'm being sponsored or whatever or to, to talk to do this a little bit but like what's not to love about this website it's freaking awesome um so yeah go ahead create a wallet customize the crap out of it secure it back it up keep it safe keep it safe all right, and check out. You can, you know, generate the wallet. You can send ether. This will hold your tokens. Um, you know, look at this. Oh, <laughs> that won't work. Put the file in there again. The password. Unlock. Tokens. Look at all these tokens you can send here. That is amazing. I love it. I love it. And you can do this with Ethereum Classic as well. You can create an Ethereum Classic wallet on their node, or you can add your own, add a custom node. So, I don't know, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed this website. If you did enjoy the video, please go ahead and pound the thumbs up sign. Um, oops, <laughs> the thumbs up button. Uh, if you dislike this video for any reason, please go ahead and hit the thumbs down button, but drop a comment. Let me know how I could have turned that thumbs down around in my next video. And please do not forget to subscribe. Flick the alert bell right next to subscribe so you get a notification every time I upload a new video and you're not left behind. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much and have a day. I'm not an expert.